Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Aside from price, dynamic range is perhaps the most used specification for evaluating one vendor's OTDR versus another. Now, when you're comparing on data sheets, you see a higher dynamic range. Well, that's better, right? Well, not necessarily, at least where multimode is concerned. Dynamic range is directly related to distance, so a wider dynamic range translates to a longer measurement distance. Well, let's see how that works with the Altrek Multimode OTDR. At 850 nanometers, it has 25 dB of range, and at 1300, it has 23 dB of range. So how does that relate to distance? Well, 12 miles. But I don't know about you, I don't know of anyone who has a 12 mile multimode link. In fact, if I was testing a TIA-568 cabling link, then I would be limited to about a mile and a quarter. Or if I was testing an Ethernet link for 1 gig or 10 gig, modal dispersion effects severely limit the bandwidth on those networks. So, and that likewise limits the distance that you can measure. In fact, it's limited to about 1,000 feet on OM3 and OM4 fibers. So, even though you have a lot of dynamic range, it's not going to make a bit of difference because there is no multimode network that ever reaches 12 miles. So, knowing that, would you not rather spend a thousand or more dollars less for an OTDR and still do what you need to do? This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos, or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.